12 News at 10 is back with new developments on an I-Team exclusive we first told you about last night. It involves the shocking story involving officers opening fire on Sergio Ochoa at a Gilbert home three years ago saying that he had a knife. And a warning, some of the video you're about to see is very disturbing. And the bullets hitting Ochoa 21 times. The shooting now part of a lawsuit against Mesa and Gilbert. Both deny any wrongdoing. And in court documents, Mesa says the shooting was objectively reasonable and legally justified. The incident starting with two 911 calls. Team 12's Michael Doudna joins us with what happened in the moments leading up to the shooting. Michael? Guys, the night ended violently in the backyard of a house where some of Ochoa's children lived and started with a domestic violence call involving Ochoa's ex-girlfriend in Mesa. But in between those two stops, Ochoa stopped at a second house of a family he didn't know. You know, as scary as the whole situation was for us, you know, you never want to hear of a young person dying in a situation like that. Kathy Axum never imagined a man who invaded their home would be dead minutes later. It all started when Ochoa came to Kathy's granddaughter outside of their Mesa home. And ran over to her and told her that he needed her to take him to the hospital. When the granddaughter refused, Ochoa took her phone, fleeing over the fence. And by the time the grandparents got to the living room, Ochoa was in the home. As I got here, he was standing right in front of this cabinet. And I was not expecting anyone to be in my house. The family demanded Sergio to give the phone back to their granddaughter, and to their surprise, he did. Kind of thought maybe it was maybe a mom voice. Kathy describes Ochoa as compliant. He was somewhat agitated. He was nervous. He seemed like he needed to get somewhere quickly. So then Kathy's granddaughter called 911 and that's when Kathy said Ochoa panicked. And he went, no, no, don't do that. And he said, I need to leave. Ochoa would quickly drive away, but not before grabbing knives that he left in the backyard. And only 10 minutes after leaving the house at around 947, police would open fire more than 30 times after they said Ochoa took a step towards officers with knives in his hands. Back at her Mesa home, Kathy would learn Ochoa's fate. Uh, one of the officers had said to me, you don't have to worry about him coming back. And I said, oh, then he's been arrested. And he said, no. And I went, oh. The Ochoa family is suing the police officers involved and the cities of Mesa and Gilbert for wrongful death negligence and civil rights violations. We have much more about the details of the shooting and previous reporting all online at 12news.com. Guys, back over to you. All right, Michael, thanks so much for that update.